I'm going to show you how to make the crazy patch quilt block from Creative Kiwi. For this I'm going to be using a 5x7 hoop, a layer of cutaway stabiliser per hooping and there are five hoopings, some threads, pins with heads on them, masking tape, squizzers and my fabrics and batting cut to size. You'll find a link to this design in the video description below. If you would like a chance to win some Creative Kiwi loyalty points to the value of this design, then please keep on watching as details will be given further on in this video. Before we actually get started, I want to explain to you how I go about sorting uh, scraps of fabric for Crazy Patch um, designs like this. The first thing I do is to stitch out colour 2 uh, of every file onto tearaway stabiliser and that gives me the placement areas for the fabrics. Then I mark up the hooping on each, segment, each part of the um, segment and the order of the fabrics. That way I know um, where they're going to go, which way round they're going to go, etc. Now, um, then I cut the two segments apart. I leave a good half inch just over border all the way around. And then I take my scraps and I work out which ones are going to fit and which ones aren't. So that's so those would fit nicely on there if there's a directional fabric and so you have to be a little bit more careful about which way around you're going to put your fabrics but um, it's easy enough to work out for example if that had to go up that way then I would place it like that on there then what I do is I pin the fabrics to each of the parts and that way I can keep track of everything and I will sort all the pieces into hoopings. So now my fabrics are prepared for the first hooping of this project. I'm not actually using these, this fabric but that's how I go about it. So these are all the fabrics I'm going to be using today and as you can see I've got hooping 3, fabric 2, hooping 5, fabric 2 and I've pinned them on to here. Um, the right way round and to help you work out which blocks go where for your patterning I have got this so the arrows indicate which way up in the hoop they are so when you stitch it this block here which is going to be the first one that we're going to do will be facing this way this block here which is hooping five will stitch around in the hoop that way but when it joins into the block it will go this way. So you can see at a glance which way round everything's going to go when you come to join them together. We're going to start off by hooping our stabiliser. So place your stabiliser over the frame of the hoop. Insert the inside frame. And then we're going to pin around the top edge of the hoop. So take your pin any pin with a, a head on it will work. Push it through your stabiliser, bring it back round and back through the stabiliser again and that will anchor it. And you're going to do that on all four sides. The larger your hoop, the more pins you will use. Load file one into your machine along with your neutral thread colour. Then pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one and that's going to give you a place and outline for your batting. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line taking care not to cut your stitches so 
so here's my fabric one I'm just going to fold that back along this uh, edge here because that's going to be um, th where this line here is I'm just going to put that aside and then finger press it and then I can place this down and then open that out and tape it in place and by having that crease I can now see where I need to put my second fabric so fabric 2 is going to go face down this time and again I've folded along that edge and I'm going to place that on my crease line on fabric 1 Hold it in place and fold it down and I'm going to secure that in place as well. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three and that's going to stitch along here and join the two fabrics to the hoop. So just pull your fabric back, make sure that you're happy with the way it sits. And if you are, we're going to trim off some of the excess along here, just leaving a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And that will get rid of the bulk. Pull your fabric back. And tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four and that's going to secure the edges of our fabric. I'm just going to secure this edge down as well just so that it doesn't move. It's better. <laughs> Load your thread colour for the quilting of this area here into your machine and then stitch round number five and I'm going with a light cream load your thread colour for the quilting of this area here into your machine and then stitch round number six and I'm staying with the cream for this load your thread colour for the decorative stitching along the seam here into your machine and then stitch round number seven and I'm going with silver now that this segment is stitched we can free our work from the hoop and because we've got two joins along here and here um, later on we're now going to trim this up close to the stitch line and you want to trim from the back so that you can see your stitches clearly we're going to keep everything around the edge now whether you keep the excess um, stabilizer is entirely up to you personally I don't I like to cut mine off but if you prefer to keep it on when you join your blocks that's entirely up to you so I'm just going to remove mine now and that's our first segment completed and we can set our work aside for the minute we're now going to do our second hooping so hoop and pin your layer of stabilizer load file 2 into your machine along with your neutral thread colour pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one and that's going to give you your placement outline for your batting place your batting over the outline and tape it in place pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it Trim away 
away the excess stabiliser from around the edge of your stitch line, taking care not to cut your stitches. So we've got fabric one that's going to go over this area here and I've folded it back and creased it along this edge here. And then I can take it in place. And then we're going to place fabric two here. And this crease is going to go on top of this crease here. And then I'm going to fold it back. So right sides of my fabrics together. We're now going to pop our hoop into our machine and stitch round number three and that's going to secure these two fabrics to the hoop. So check that you're happy with your join and then you're going to trim along here leaving a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Flip your fabric over and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four. Load your thread colour for the quilting of area one into your machine and then stitch round number five. Load your thread colour for the quilting over area two into your machine and then stitch round number six and I'm staying with cream. Load your thread colour for the decorative stitching along the seam here into your machine and then stitch round number seven and I'm going with silver. We're going to trim away the excess fabric from along the edge of the stitch line here ready for our join from the previous segment. So cut close to the stitching, taking care not to cut any. So this is our previous segment. We're now going to turn it around that way and we're going to place this stitch line here on top of this stitch line here and secure it to the hoop. If like me you're using pins, make sure that you keep them right out of the way of the stitch line. I'm just going to place a little bit of tape just to keep those edges flat, top and bottom. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number eight and that's going to zigzag along here and join the two segments together. Check your join to make sure that you're happy with it. If you're not, unpick the zigzag stitching reposition your segment one, secure it in place and then stitch round number eight again. If you're happy with it you're now going to stitch round number nine and that's going to do the decorative top stitching over the join. And I'm staying with silver for this. So that's our second segment complete and we can now free this from the hoop. I'm going to turn this around this way because this is going to be the um, edge of my quilt block. We're now going to trim along here and here ready to join these edges to the next um, uh, blocks or should I say segments. <laughs> okay I'm going to cut this from the back and trim close to the stitch line taking care not to cut any of the stitches though. Next we're going to do this one. And I'm going to remove the excess stabiliser. That's 
that's our second segment complete and we can set our work aside for the minute. This is the third segment. Hoop and pin your layer of stabilizer. Load file 3 into your machine along with your neutral thread colour. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number 1 and that's going to give you your placement outline for your batting. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number 2 to secure it. Trim away the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line, taking care not to cut your stitches. So these are my fabrics and I've uh, folded the fabric back along this stitch line. I'm going to place fabric one over this area here. And tape it in place. And then the fold of this fabric here on top of this fold and then fold that back so that my fabric is face down over the other one and then secure it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three and that's going to stitch along here and secure the two fabrics to the hoop. So just pull your fabric back to make sure that you're happy with its position and then we're going to trim up along here to remove some of the bulk. Leave about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Pull your fabric back over the top and take it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four and that's going to secure the edges of your fabrics. Load your thread colour for the quilting of area one into your machine and then stitch round number five and I'm going with cream. Load your thread colour for the quilting of this area here into your machine and then stitch round number six and I'm staying with the cream. Load your thread colour for the decorative stitching along um, the uh, seam into your machine and then stitch round number seven and I'm going with silver. now come to joining our previous um, block to this one so we're just going to trim up the excess fabric along here first so turn your hoop around and trim up taking care not to cut your stitches so this was segment two and that's segment one I'm going to turn this round and we're going to place this stitch line here on top of this stitch line here and secure them in place and again if you're using pins make sure that you keep them right out of the way of the stitch line I'm just going to place a little bit of tape here and here just to hold those edges down the pins stop it from skewing and the tape holds the edges down Oops, wrong way round. <laughs> We're now going to pop our hoop into our machine and stitch round number eight and that's going to zigzag along here and join the two segments together. Before we carry on stitching, check your join, make sure that you're happy with it. If you're not, cut the zigzag stitching, reposition your segment 
secure it in place and then stitch round number eight again if you're happy with it you're going to stitch round number nine and that's going to do the decorative stitching along the join so make sure that you've got an appropriate color loaded into your machine and i'm still going with silver Now that the stitching is finished for this segment, we're going to free this from the hoop. We're now going to trim the excess away from here, but we're going to leave down the side here because these are going to be the edges of our block. So turn your hoop over and I'm going to trim off some of this excess along here. And now along here. Take care not to cut any of your stitching though. I'm just going to trim off, whoops, <laughs> bits everywhere. I'm just going to trim off the excess stabiliser here. Again, if you want to keep yours, you can. I just find it bulky when I come to do my seams. Trim that up here. And that's our third segment completed and we can set our work aside for the minute. We're now going to do the fourth hooping. So hoop and pin your layer of wash waste stabiliser. Load file 4 into your machine along with your neutral thread. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number 1 and that's going to give you your placement outline for your batting. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Trim away the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line, taking care not to cut your stitches. Place fabric one over this area here and as always I've got mine folded back and then open it out and tape it in place. Place your fabric two with the fold underneath. and flip it over and secure it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch around number three and that's going to join the two fabrics to the hoop. Pull your fabric back to make sure that you're happy with the position of it. If you are, you're then going to trim up some of the excess just leaving a quarter of an inch seam allowance pull your fabric over and secure it in place pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it Load your thread colour for the quilting of area 2 into your machine and then stitch round number 5 and I'm going with cream. Load your thread colour for the quilting of area 1 into your machine and then stitch round number 6 and I'm staying with cream. Load your thread colour for the decorative stitching over the seam into your machine and then stitch round number seven and I'm going with silver. Trim away the excess fabric from along the bottom here 
that's where we're going to join our next um, our previous segment to this one take your uh, previous segments and you're going to align this stitch line here on top of this stitch line here and align this with this and secure it in place and if you're using pins make sure that you keep them right out of the way of the stitch line load your thread color for the decorative stitching along this line here into your machine and then stitch round number eight and that's going to zigzag along here and join the two segments together and I'm going with silver for this check your join to make sure that you're happy with it if you're not unpick the zigzag stitching reposition your segment secure it and then stitch round number eight again if you're happy with it you're now going to stitch round number nine and that's going to do the decorative top stitching along the join and I'm staying with silver before we remove this from the hoop I'm going to trim up along here you're going to trim your fabric as close as you can to the stitch line and we're now going to remove this from the hoop and I'm now going to trim away some of this excess we're just going to trim up neaten up this um, edge ready for our next join take care not to cut your stitching of course And that's our fourth hooping complete and we can now set our work aside for the minute we're now going to do the fifth and final hooping so hoop and pin your layer of stabilizer in your hoop load file 5 into your machine along with your neutral thread pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one and that's going to give you a placement outline for your batting Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Okay, so it's competition time. If you would like to win some creative Kiwi loyalty points to the value of this design, tell me what you're going to make with this block in the comments below. A winner will be picked at random on Sunday 24th of July, 6pm Central European time plus two. So be sure to check back then to see if it's you. Good luck and thanks for taking part. Trim away the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line, taking care not to cut your stitches. We're going to place our first two fabrics so fabric one goes here and fabric two will eventually cover here so place fabric one where you want it to be and then open it out and take it in place and then you're going to take fabric two, fold your fabric under, place it on the fold line of fabric one, and fold it back. And secure that in tape with, with tape as well.
pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three and that's going to secure the two fabrics in place. Fold your fabric back to make sure that you're happy with its positioning and then you're going to trim off the excess just leaving a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Pull your fabric up and secure it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four and that's going to secure the edges. I had a bit of a technical hitch and my last round didn't record so I'm just going to stitch it again for your benefit. So we're now going to stitch round number four even though it's already stitched. Now going to add our third fabric and I've got my edge folded back. I'm going to place that on the stitch line and then fold it forward so that it's right sides together and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number five and that's going to join your fabric to the hoop. Pull your fabric back to check that you're happy with its positioning and then we're going to trim off the excess to within a quarter of an inch taking care when you cut and then fold your fabric over and secure it in place Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number six and that's going to secure the edge of your fabric. Load your thread colour for the quilting of area two into your machine and then stitch round number seven and I'm going with cream. Load your thread colour for the quilting of area one into your machine and then stitch round number eight and I'm going with cream again. Load your thread colour for the quilting of area three into your machine and then stitch round number nine and I'm staying with cream. Load your thread colour for the decorative stitching along this seam into your machine and then stitch round number ten and I'm going with silver. Load your thread colour for the decorative stitching along this seam into your machine and then stitch round number 11 and I'm staying with silver. We're now going to trim up along here and here ready for our joins and cut close to the stitches without cutting any of course. Once again, check your join, make sure that you're happy with it. If you're not, unpick the zigzag stitching, reposition your segment, secure it in place, and then stitch round number 13 again. Once you're happy with it, you're then going to stitch round number 14, and that's going to do the top stitching along the two joins that we've just done. We're now going to place our previous segments and align them onto here. So you're going to align this stitch line here onto this stitch line here and as I say a lot if you're going to use pins to secure it make sure you keep them right out of the way of the stitch line.
you might find that you have to stretch your segment a little bit because when you release it from the hoop it relaxes so don't be afraid to pull on it but be careful not to pull your um, work out of your hoop okay so I'm just going to take that down there and this down here and we're going to pop our hoop into our machine and stitch round number 12 now it's going to secure along the top here check your join to make sure that you're happy with it if you're not unpick the zigzag stitching reposition your segment secure it and then stitch round number 12 again also check here just to make sure that everything is still lined up properly if it isn't just adjust your um, pins and what have you we're now going to stitch round number 13 and that's going to zigzag along here and join this segment to this one once again check your join make sure that you're happy with it if you're not unpick the zigzag stitching reposition your segment secure it in place and then stitch round number 13 again once you're happy with it you're then going to stitch round number 14 and that's going to do the top stitching along the two joins that we've just done now that that's finished stitching we can now free this from the hoop and we can trim up the excess stabiliser all that remains now is to trim up the sides of our blocks so that we've got an even um, seam allowance all the way around and I'm going to do that on my cutting table and then I'll be back and that's our crazy patch quilt block finished I hope you enjoyed this stitch along if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as soon as they're published do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group there's always lots of ideas help and inspiration there for everybody and thank you very much for joining me you'll find a link to this design in the video description below along with lots of other information such as where I get my supplies and some discount codes for you as well See you next time.